Swift and Tips Podcast. Along with all the stuff you are doing, that, that is a lot already, YouTube, your PhD, etc. I mean, you you worked in an um, application, launch body, to help mm -hmm. indie developers. I would like to learn more about it. How did you get that idea and how hard was that? I mean, transforming that idea into, into a real product. Because it is not just a random app like, hey, I mean, this is something that I did and, and I never touch it. No, you are giving support every week, every day. So I don't know. I'm seeing a lot of uh, uh, posts on, on Twitter about it. So could you tell us how was your experience with that uh, project? Yeah, sure. Sure. Thank you. Um, I worked on a lot of different apps, a lot of very small apps that just scratched my own itch. Right. So mm -hmm. like an app to, um, to do mental math. Another app to, I don't know, do the, the Pokemon Go calculation. A lot of different small projects and I, I lost my organization. I didn't know what to do next for app one. I didn't know what to do next for app two. I didn't know which five different app ideas I had in between because I had no place to keep everything structured. And mm -hmm. I, of course, I tried um, Jira in university. I tried GitHub um, projects. I tried Trello. I also tried Reminders and Apple Notes. I tried all of these things, but I found that none of them, of course, were tailored for uh, indie developers. Um, they were either tailored for personal things like the Reminders and the Notes app or Trello, for mm -hmm. example, or they were tailored for very professional environments like GitHub issues, GitHub projects, Jira and stuff like that. And yeah. so I thought, okay, I'm an iOS developer. I struggle with this this issue and I bet that there's thousands of people out there who also struggle with this issue. So I thought to myself, what would a project management tool made for indie developers look like? What would the concepts be? So hmm. uh, in Jira, you have the concept of sprints. So I thought, I don't really like the concept of a sprint working as my like working by myself or being the sole developer. I don't really care about doing a sprint and defining exactly what I want to do this week. So instead I thought, why not do releases instead of sprints? And that's the, the core idea of launch body. So instead of planning your work for the next week or for the next month, you're planning what you're going to do in which version of your app. So okay. that that's basically the core idea behind launch body. And um, you can also, of course, write down your app ideas. And then once you turn it into an app, you can do that in launch body. You, you create your first release and you can say, all right, in, in my MVP release, uh, I want to release it on, December 1st, for example, and I wanted to include feature A, B, C, and D. And okay. then I wanted, I want to also do marketing tasks A, B, C, and then I can structure that into my first release. And then I might already have ideas for the second release and I can also structure that already and plan that already. So I try to take the concepts of some of these more professional um, tools like Jira and turn them into something that's actually nice to use as an indie developer and doesn't have all of this overhead. Okay. And then of course, LaunchBody had a ton of iterations over the, the time that it's been around. It's uh, actually the, the project that I've been working on the longest time or that I've been continuously improving for the longest mm -hmm. time out of all of my personal projects. Um, and it's evolved quite a lot. So uh, actually in the beginning, uh, it started as just a macOS app because in my mind, this is the companion to Xcode. So in my mind, you have three tools that you're using. You're using Xcode to mm -hmm. code the app, using LaunchBody to plan and schedule your tasks and schedule your releases. And then you're using App Store Connect to actually release it to the public, to view your analytics and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That was the stack that I envisioned an indie developer to use. And that's why I made LaunchBody as a standalone macOS app. And then... Uh, Tons and tons of people actually asked me to create an iOS app. And uh, mm -hmm. I thought, why, why would anybody use a project manager on iOS if the project that they're managing is going to happen on their Mac? Like, they're going to use their Mac to write the app. Why wouldn't they manage it on their, on their Mac as well? Mm -hmm. And then eventually, I, of course, gave in and, and I started to write the iOS app. And um, since then, I also actually ported it to iPadOS. And um, let me tell you, it's been quite a journey doing the, the multi-platform development. So I'm glad that uh, I did it in SwiftUI because, of course, there are parts that I can reuse in the different platforms. But it's, it's definitely not a write once, use everywhere kind of situation. 
So okay. multi-platform SwiftUI is way dirtier <laughs> than Apple makes it seem. <laughs>